Many of you request to do a tutorial for everyday objects and so I decided to make this business card holder. It's been printed and test. It's working very well. So we're gonna talk about the model today and also I have a secret bonus for you so stay tuned till the end of the video. Let's get started. To create a business card holder we need to know what is the standard size for a business card. So if you go to Google, type in uh, business card size, it's going to give you the standard size for 3.5 times 2 inch. So I draw a box here to represent the business card. This is in the millimeter. And then I will go to the uh, box mode. And I'll try to creating a box right here, uh, follow this dimension right there. Uh, my business card is 0.4 millimeter, which means if I want to have 10 business cards, I need to have about 4 millimeter space there. And if you like to make your business card holder holding a lot more, you just need to adjust the height. Okay, so now we have this business card holder there. I want to move it to the center. So instead of like we can do is, I know this is a four millimeter. I can move it down two. That is one way to do it. Sorry, that I need to do the negative two. Uh, so that's one way to do it. Another way we can do, let's say, let's go back. We can always use the align tool. I use align tool all the time. It's really convenient. So we're going to go to align tool, align to the center. I'm just need to type zero. So it doesn't matter how thick that is. They will go into right in the middle of the uh, align to the center. All right. So now we have this business card. All we need to do is we need to make it slightly bigger. The reason is that I don't want my business card jamming inside of the holder. So I want to give it a little bit more room like that. All right. So that is roughly about one millimeter uh, all the way around. You don't need to have that big. Maybe I will just scale it just a little bit back. All right. So, so as long as we have a little bit room there, so it's not that jam packed. So you can see that was the original size and we want to use this box as our reference. Now, since it's a reference, I'm going to lock both of them. So I won't accidentally click it and I'm going to delete this dimension here. Let's take a look on the business card holder that I have uh, previously. As you can see, I have the card holder is all the way rounded. If you have a box and you fill the edges and it's going to be really boxy looking. So I want to create this like really pillow looking uh, outline there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off is I'm going to create some reference lines for Earth. So first I'm going to snap to the zero point with the straight line and then it's going to have it coming down uh, for uh, com coming up for any of the length that you possibly going to build. So I'm going to have this business card about 1.5 ish in between 1.5 to 2 millimeter. Then I'm going to put the tag there. Okay, so that's explode it, this too. All right, the next things I wanted to do is I need to creating a outline for what that is. So I'm going to do is to go into the rectangle tool and you right click on the very last one with the conic corner and you want to snapping into the zero uh, snapping into the zero for the center then I want to coming out here and then to do a proper size you don't need to have it su super thick we want to be easy to carry so I'm gonna do something like this I mean enlarge to the top view and then you can coming in like this. So this is my business card. Let me move to the left a little bit and see if that work really well. The reason is like that is later I'm going to cut the hole out there. All right. But uh, I'm going to move it back for now. It's easy for us to do everything right in the center. So I'm going to make it just a little bit longer and maybe a little bit wider too because that corner is really close. Okay. So now we have this, we want to uh, design a shell for it. So I'm going to snapping into this uh, endpoint that's going to the right view and I'm going to put the tag there. All right. So this is going to help us to have a really nice um, curve uh, for, for blend. 
So let's go to the blend tool and we're going to blend from this little tag there going to this little tag there. So now you have really nice curve but it's bumpy at the end. So I'm going to move in this down like this. And it's better to see on the um, front view or on the side view so that way you can see how well that you have this curve there. I can move in this one there. So it's a nice curve there and I click OK on it. So now we have this curve and since we want to make it into the solid, let's go ahead to uh, mirror that to the other side and join it. Okay, so now we have the curve, we have the rail, and we are going to use the command under the surface, and this is called a uh, rail revolve. So first of all, it will ask you to choose the profile. So this is our profile, this is the rail, and we are going to do from this end to this end. So now I got very nice um, uh, out um, the shell for it. And after we do that, I'm going to move it to the left side a little bit. The reason I do that, again, I want to cut out, you know, the opening there. So this is uh, like like this one. So I can put the strap there to holding with my ID at the same time, things like that. Okay. All right. The second things I wanted to do is I need to cut an opening. So that's going to the uh, front view. In the front view, I wanted to uh, slide. Uh, my card it's like an opening there so I might wanted to cut something like this all right and then with that cutting I need to have a close curve so I can creating a solid so I'm gonna join those two all right now let's take a look on the whole view a lot of time you have something like this is because uh, all snap is on and it's kind of snap everywhere um, so a lot of time they are not flat to solve this issue just go to the front view and we want to type it project to C plane and we want to delete the input so now we have it a flat straight line there okay uh, let's go ahead using the solid extrude a planar curve straight and then we are having this one make sure the um, solid equal yes okay so we're gonna do the bowling difference we're gonna do from um, difference from this one all of this one so now we got a solid piece right there we also is going to cut out uh, the space out so I'm going to unlock that guy and then I'm gonna use bowling difference again so this one will be bowling all of this one so now we have a box there okay so the box is done then next one we need to do the pattern on the top right so I need to know where is this the space I'm going to do the design I'm gonna use this one the curve that I have because that's fitting into the profile and let me have those two actually have everybody and align to the center and type it zero there okay we don't need this I'm gonna hide this one all right so now we have uh, this box right there I'm gonna use the curve tool and just kind of scale it down to find what is the good design area right there. Before we are doing any design, I would like to have an opening right at this area so that way I can have the thumb to slice the business card out. So let's go to the square, rectangular uh, tool and then I want it to have a conic edges. So now I'm going to snap to the midpoint with the center of the rectangle and I can decide like how big I wanted to this space to have and have like really nice round edges. Also notice that um, we don't want to cut into the box where this area is. We want to just cut in inside of it. So I'm going to have a curve and pick up both of them and I'm going to uh, split, um, I'm sorry, trim this one to this one. And then make sure that they are touching this currently is not now it's not touching so I need to move this curve gonna move it from the endpoint to this endpoint and then join those two curves. 
Now they are joined, let's go ahead to solid, extrude it planar curve straight. So then we will have this as our cutting tool. Just want to slightly move up a little bit so it's not cutting into the bottom of the box. And let's use the Boolean deferred. So now we have this open, so it's pretty much we get basic everything that we have. We also want to cut the opening right there. So I'm going to use the conic uh, rectangular again, and we want to snap into any of the point right there with the center. Don't forget to click on the center. And then it can be any size that you want, depends on the how thick your strip um, it's going to have go through that area and then let's do the solid extruded planar curve it's, It kind of see me doing the repeating command that is helping you to memorize this command uh, much easier so we're gonna do the bowling difference so now we have this out of this so this is what we get there so let's do some pattern design here on the top space right here. So let's go ahead and make sure the grid snap is on. And we want to turn on this right there. And I also want to draw a circle right in the middle. You can create any pattern you like. I just like to have some geometric form. And then I'm going to draw another rectangular, rectangular there. All right. So with all of this, I'm going to use the trim tool to trim anywhere that I don't need, like something like this right there, and not nah, you guys. So now I have this pattern right there. I'm going to join it while I select all of them. So now this pattern needs to flow into it. Apparently this guy is a little bit too big, but that's okay. We're going to scale it down uh, later on. So let me group this guy first. I'm going to using the array tool that you have this rectangular array. We're going to go, <clears throat> depends on how many you need it. And since I don't know, I'm just going to use more than what I need. I'm going to have 15 here. The Y axis is a little bit shorter, so I'm going to do 10 here. And then Z, I don't need, I just need one. So let's hit enter. So then it will asking, asking you what space do you need it. So I want to keep it like two millimeter that I have like that. So this is going to be my pattern. And after I do that, uh, I wanted to uh, select all of them and it's kind of scale into the size that may fit into my design right there. So I'm going to move it roughly here and see which one may it may work, you know, within that that design area right there. Um, another thing is I may want to group them temporary and then um, and also I wanted to move it to somewhere can align to the center. So I'm going to pick up my object and all those pattern I'm going to use the um, align center and type it zero. So that way they will be right in the center. Okay. So now I can use uh, the select the object. I can use my gumball to move them to the area that I like. You can get rid of the grid snap so I, you can, you can move it a little bit closer or something like this. Okay, so now we have everything in the right place. Let's just go ahead to ungroup this one and delete anything outside of that design area. So I'll do something, uh, maybe individual of them. I need to delete it more. So let's, let's do this first. Um, let's delete those guy right there. All right, and for the individual of them, I need to ungroup one more time so I can delete like this way. Okay, and right there, hanging over there, we want to keep everything in the design area. So we probably want to delete those and a couple of this guy there, where it's sticking into the corner that, might, that may not be too good. And then, of course, this open area, we need to delete a bunch of them. So that's deleted somewhere there. And again, this is just happened to the pattern that I like and it, it worked out pretty good on my print. So um, you can design whatever area that 
uh, whatever pattern that work for you. Okay, so now you like everything. Let's go ahead to select all those patterns. Let's group it again so we don't have to select individually. Let's take a look. All right, so that, that looks good. And I'm going to solid, extrude plane and straight. And I'm going to uh, straighten them up a little bit like this. Okay, so now you have this pattern. It's ready. Let's go ahead to do the bowling difference. Let's start drawing the area for the clip. Uh, go to the rectangle tool, corner, corner. Make sure center is uh, is click, and then we want to do it. I mean, it's up to you, like how big that clip is going to be, but it doesn't have to be super big. Okay, so I'm gonna move it right there a little bit. So now I have this. Uh, this is actually it's gonna be in the back, so. It's easier to see like this. All right. So beside the opening, we also need to design the area is kind of going in. So I'm going to turn off the rest of it and just working on this area right there. OK, I'm going to make a copy, copy C, copy V and scale one of it coming down and also want to move it a little bit right there. Uh, you can design every, you know, very, depends on how you like for those opening. But um, you don't want to be open too much. You want to keep it this as a big piece. So when you are printing out, you still have enough material to hold the tension. All right. So now we need to go on the uh, front view. Before I do that, I want to put a dot there so I can see the front view to see where the ending is. OK, so now let's go to the uh, front view. OK, so we want to click look like this. We want it to coming up there. Uh, let's take a look on our model first. All right. So we wanted to, to go coming up somewhere from here, here, and coming back here, and then snapping into our outline there. So let me smart track near. So that's where we want it to end. So this is what the clip uh, should look like. I may want to have this one coming back a little bit. So that's easier for my car to slice in without catching at the, the end of it. So let me move this guy, move this guy and coming back a little bit. So it's a nice curve over there. All right. So what we're going to do with this is let's go back to our perspective. Now we have something like this. Uh, all we need to do is using the command is under the curve or you can look for the icon here. It's like curve from two view. So I'm going to click on this one and this one. And that give me a very interesting um, surface there. I think I'm upside down. Yeah. OK, so let's take a look on our model It's sitting inside of it. Really nice. OK. All right. So what we need to do is we need to create the thickness of this guy. So to, to do that, um, we can use the curve that we have and then extrude uh, the curve straight on the both side. All right. And using this curve to trim the extra off. So now we have a surface like that. Now what we like to do is cut the opening to the back. Right, so I'm gonna use this curve, and then I'm gonna um, go to the solid extruded planet curve straight. We need a solid piece there. Um, we don't need both sides; we just need one side, and we want to go in inside of that piece there. So let's go ahead to cut this open. So bowling difference. This guy will be out of our cutting red color tool. So now I have this opening there. OK, now what we need to do is to creating the thickness of this red surface that we have. So I'm going to come in here. And then I'm going to creating a thickness by going to the solid extruded surface. So we want to extrude this surface straight. The thickness is going to go from there to there. All right. So now we have this piece 
right there. So let's double check with a, a full a view right there. So you want to make sure the tongue is not touching the uh, part that you're going to print. Otherwise, the, your business card won't uh, slice in there. And you may also need to adjust the height. This might be a little bit too tight, but this for the demonstration, I'm just going to leave it there. So this is what we have for the business card. And I will suggest you to do the fillet all the way so ensure that it's not scratching your business card is nice and smooth and then um, that will be the demo today at the beginning of tutorial i promise you there will be a bonus i'm actually giving out this model in stl file this has been print and test and all the edges has been nicely smoothed out i also test the tension it works really nice so I'm giving out this file. All you need to do is sign up my email list at the link below. I promise you, I won't send you junk, only the good stuff and my modeling secret. So sign up the link below and get your free printing file today. See you next.